Linear regression is the most simple way to find the best fitting straight line through a data set. This can be used to predict anything from stock prices and risk management through to price optimization and disease prediction. Today we perform a simple linear regression analysis on house prices based on their square footage. So let's get straight into the code. Okay, so first of all, let's open up PyCharm. We're gonna be doing this in Python. Uh, so let's call our project linear regression. We'll be using Python 3.11. So let's hit create and this will create a new project for us. So here you can see we have a new project created. I'm just going to zoom in to make this easier to read for everyone. Okay, cool. So hopefully that's more readable. So what we're going to do, we're going to delete everything out of the main.py file. And I'm going to import my CSV that I have with my house prices in. So I'm just going to drag in my house price file into my linear regression. And there we go. We can see we have the CSV. Now normally you would create another folder called data and just store everything under there. In fact, that's what we're gonna do. Just to make sure we keep everything separate. So the first thing we want to do is import a few libraries. Uh, we will need to install these. We're gonna need pandas, matplotlib, and also scikit-learn. So we're gonna say import pandas as pd, import matplotlib dot pyplot, as PLT. And then I'm going to also import some scikit-learns. I'm going to paste these into here for now. Also fix this import here. So we're going to import scikit-learn.linear model. This is for our linear regression. Scikit.metric and scikit-learn.model.model selection import. I'm going to be importing the trainer split set. So one way to install these packages is to hover over them and you can say install the package. And that will install the package for us. And we can see that's installed. I'm just going to do that for the other two as well. So that may take a minute to load and install, but once it has, it should all go gray like this and we can start importing our data in. So to do that, we say DF for our data, that's equal to pd.readcsv. And what we're going to do, we're going to import that data file. So we're going to say data slash, and then the name of the file. Now we should be able to right click this and just copy and we should be able to paste that into there. Next up, we need to tell it what the features are. So we have an X and Y feature. So the X feature is going to be our size. So that will be DF size, and then the square foot. So SQFT, and then we're gonna to have to import the values. And then for the Y, it's going to be DF, and then the price, and that is going to be dollars K. And change that to repeat, then dot values. So this here will be our feature matrix and this is our target variables that we're importing here. So now that we have those imported, let's see what they look like on a chart. So we're gonna go plt.figure and that is gonna have a fig size of 10 by six. And then plt.scatter, I'm gonna scatter the df size. So we'll copy that from up here. And we'll remove two of these brackets from this one. And then we're gonna import the price. So we copy that one and paste that into there. Then we're gonna set a color, and that's gonna be equal to great, and a label of data points. So once we've done that, we can set our X and Y axes labels. To do that, we say plt.xlabel. And that's going to be equal to size in square foot. So let's just copy that from here. And then we do the same for our Y label. So I'll just copy and paste that in and change the X to a Y and change that to price. Let's give our plot a title, just so we know what we're looking at. That's gonna be initial house prices. We'll do plt.legend to show the legend. We'll do plt.show and this will show us the plot. So let's save that and run this. So we run by clicking the play button up here. We currently have an error. So the error was inside my house price data set, I'd actually forgotten to set this header to match this header here. But once we update that and hit play, we see this graph here and we should be able to see a nice scatter graph of all the house prices based on their square footage. Right, now that we've seen what the data looks like, let's actually start training the model. So I'm just gonna comment this out. To do that quickly, you press Control and slash whilst 
having it highlighted and that will comment it out quickly for you. So to train this is super quick and easy. We're gonna split it at 80-20% for the training and the testing set. So to train this, we say x underscore train, comma x underscore test, then y underscore train, y underscore test. And that will be equal to the train test dot split, which is what we imported up here. And we're going to import the x and the y values into there. And the test size, as we said, will be equal to 20%, so 0 0.2. And we're going to also have a random state in there as well of 42. Up next, we need to reference the model that we're going to be using. So the model will be equal to the linear regression we imported. We can say model.fit and we can pass in the x train and the y train. And that's actually all we need to do to train the model. So what we can do after this is we can set some predictions. So y underscore predict is going to be equal to the model dot predict. I'm going to predict that on the test data that we have. So x underscore test. And let's put that information into another graph so we can see it. So let's uncomment this. We'll update this slightly. So we'll keep it the same size. Let's change the label from data points to actual prices. And we we'll change the data points to the data points we get back from here. That would be x underscore test. And this one here will be y underscore print. Next, we need to do plt.plot to plot the actual line onto the graph. And we'll be using the x underscore test, the y underscore predict, the color of blue. This is just to show the line. We'll have a line width of three and a label of predicted prices. We'll also update the initial house prices to say house price with regression line. That would just be the title. So let's hit save and let's run this. So I got an error because I removed the square brackets around the x value here for the this here, and this actually requires a three. This actually requires a two-dimensional array, and I set that to a one-dimensional array. So this actually sets that to a two-dimensional array. And then once we hit play, we should get a nice graph. And we can see we have our actual prices, which are all the dots here, and then our predicted price running through. So that's all great and everything, but let's say we have a massive data set um, and we want to run this loads of times without having to constantly train it. So now let's save the model. To save the file, we can use a package called joblib. So let's say from joblib, import dump, and load. And then right at the bottom here, after we've trained our data, we can get rid of this now. So comment that out. So to save the file, we can say model underscore file name is equal to, and we'll save that inside the data folder. And we'll say model.joblib. And then we can just dump the model into there. So you say dump model and then the model file name. So let's hit save and run. And here we should see our model.joblib. So that's created our model. And from there, we can now create a file just to load the model and run inference against that model. So let's create a new file. Let's call it infer.py. Let's say from joblib import load. Let's import that model we created. So loaded model be equal to load and then data and then model dot joblib. So that's the add a price that we want to predict. So the new data will be equal to a two dimensional array, let's say 2500. And then the predicted price will be equal to the loaded model dot predict and then we load in the new data. Let's print out predicted price. B 
be equal to the predicted price and the first item from that. So let's hit save and run. Make sure to select the file from here. So we can say current file, hit run on there. And we can see the predicted price for that square footage will be $301. If you found this video useful, consider hitting the like and subscribe button. And all of the code for this tutorial is on GitHub and available to members. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.